Hey guys, welcome to Shanks Wrestling Show and welcome to my TLC 2000, WWE TLC 2017 uh, predict predictions. This this year's card for TLC is not that great. The main event is is alright. I I'm gonna enjoy the main event, but it's not. Looking too good for DLC. They've only got they've got two two out of um, two out of five titles on the line, which is not good. If if you have a pay per view, you should have uh, all your titles on the line in the show, or whatever. Um, but the it's not good. So we have the Brian Kendrick versus that uh, there is uh, three three things about um, women. And three things about the cruiserweights. Then we have uh, two other matches. And that's it. Like five, five matches with one cruiserweight thing. So we start off. I'm gonna start off with the Brian Kendrick versus, uh, and Jack Gallagher versus Cedric Alexander and Roderick Strong. Um, so I like get Gallagher, Jack Gallagher, cause he's British. Uh, Brian Kendrick, I like him, cause he was. Part of my childhood when I was growing up, I liked him when he was like taking champions with Paul London. But uh, I'm going, to, yeah, I'm going to choose Kendrick and Gallagher to win that match against Cedric Alexander and Roger Strong. I do like them, but I'm going to choose Gallagher and Kendrick. Next off, it, this is a pre-show match. It's uh, Sasha Banks versus Alicia Fox. Uh, some way I'm thinking Alicia Fox is going to win. Somehow I don't know because there was a match the other week where uh, it was a five what elimination match where uh, Sasha Banks ta made uh, Alicia Fox tap and they had a match on Raw this week and they and Banks uh, Fox tapped out against Sasha Banks this that that on Raw. So I think some way Alicia Fox is going to win that match to um, uh, somehow win. Uh, we have this PowerPoint with one of these uh, cruiserweights. I forgot his name. I don't know what he's going to do, but I think he's just going to roast the cruiserweight type, uh, roast them or whatever they, he wants to do. I don't know. Probably watch it and see what he says. Then we uh, have. Uh, we have a, another women's match. We have Alexa Bliss versus Mickey James for the women's title. Somehow I'm thinking Mickey James is going to win. It's all this talk. Alicia, Alexa Bliss, like, t telling she's old, she doesn't deserve the title because she's old and. Stuff like that, and I think Mickey James is gonna. Yeah, she's old, older than any other woman wrestler in the Raw division, like WWE Raw roster, and SmackDown. She's like the oldest person, still going, but I think I think she's gonna go. They yeah, do do some good moves, and I think she's gonna pull it off and with the beat. Uh, a younger Alexa Bliss for the women's title and say, oh, "Look, I prove you wrong. I can still go. I, I'm a bet. I'm um, a good wrestler still to this day, and, and stuff like that. That's why I think Mickey James is going to win because I, and I like both, but Mickey James is going to win. I know that. Then we have a uh, another women's match. We have." Emma versus Asuka, 
Asuka's going to win that match easy because she, she's been down on uh, NXT um, for the past, since 2015, like late 2015 or early 15, 2015, I can't remember. But I remember when she debuted and I remember her winning the NXT women's title and she's held it since early 2016, I think. And... I think uh, she, she's she's had a uh, her uh, she her record like wins she hasn't lost in WWE so I think she's gonna they're gonna keep the winning streak alive and because uh, she had to drop the uh, title for injury but she's going to the main roster now she's. She's gonna have that winning streak still. I don't know who's gonna break it, but someone else, it will uh, break it one day. Could be Emma, could be not, but uh, I can't see it at the moment. Then we have uh, Finn Balor versus Bray Wyatt. Um, I don't know if this is gonna happen because it's rumours that Bray Wyatt and two other, like Bray Wyatt and uh, his brother, Bro Dallas, and Joe JJ, the ring announcer, they they've got this illness that makes them not can't come to wrestle or whatever announce and all that. So um, I don't know if it's gonna happen or not, but yeah, the the thing is, if it happens, uh, Bray Wyatt, well, Finn Balor is gonna do his like demon dress up, and Bray Wyatt is gonna debut his uh. Sister Ab- Abigail attire or whatever. I think so. I don't know. But if it, if Finn Balor's beat, beaten Bray Wyatt twice already in pay per views, could be Wyatt, could be Balor. I'm going to say Bray Wyatt. If it happens in this uh, mat, in the match, I don't know yet. Then we get to the main event of the sh- this show. This is a big match. I can't wait to watch it. It'll be the it'll be a five on three uh, TLC match, cha- tables, ladders, and chairs as as it stands for. And they're going against the Shield. Shield's got three members. It has it'll be the Miz, Strowman, Kane, Sheamus, and Cesaro versus. Uh, Dean Ambrose, Roman Reigns, and Dean Ambrose, and the the tag team titles are not on the line. The Shield's got them. Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins have got it. Got them. They and they're not on the line. The Miz has got the Intercontinental title. That's not on the line. And Brock Lesnar is not on it. Uh, uh, even up TLC, so he won't be defending his title. So there's three titles and they're not on the line, which I'm pissed about. Maybe everyone else is pissed because it, the titles are not not aligned. But we have this huge match. I think it should be a five on five match. I think there should be there will probably be two people joining the Shield. Could be Curtis Axel. I heard, and and uh, it could be Bo Dallas, or they call up a uh, superstar from. NXT, I think if they do call up a superstar, the main person I think they should call up is Kasha Sono from the NXT because it back in the day when the Shield actually turned up in 2015, uh, TLC I think it was no they they fought the, the debut was TLC they turned up at Survivor Hell in a Cell or Survivor Series I can't remember which one. But yeah, it was rumoured that they were called up. The court was going to call up Kashizono for the Shield, but they didn't. They kept him down and f- fired him. And now he's come back, and now he's been in NXT for a while now. I think he's ready to come up and join the Shield. I don't know yet, but they could do. So that's my uh, TLC prediction. Well, who's going to? Who I think I should win? The Shield's going to win that match easy so uh, that's my predictions for TLC um, 
leave a like, comment and subscribe for more. And maybe could be another match, don't know yet. So leave a like, comment and subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.